guys. So what this does here is it releases the teeth for the kingpin itself. It's pretty greasy. Don't touch it. So this, you know, and it, it activates automatically. So as soon as it hits the teeth there, the, once the kingpin hits the teeth, it automatically clamps. So watch. Pull that out before I usually make sure she's nice and level. And what I do is when I'm backing up to the trailer, when I'm backing up to the trailer, here's the kingpin. I make sure that the kingpin is lower than my fifth wheel hitch. My fifth wheel hitch is up here, my kingpin is down here, so my truck scoops it. line here trailer brake well it's not a trailer brake it's an emergency brake so if the trailer comes unconnected the brakes on the trailer automatically apply you can lock it here but seeing as my fifth wheel hitch is locked in my trailer or my fifth wheel hitch is locked in my truck literally And then here's your seven pin connector. And nice thing about these new trucks, whether it's Dodge, Ford, or Chevy, I know Dodge and Ford have it, but I'm not sure Chevy. You got the connector right in the bed of the truck, so you don't got to run. The, you don't got to run it over the tailgate and wreck the fuck in your court. Yeah, now she's connected. I'm just gonna let the weight off it and uh, get the weight back, get the weight onto the truck. Here's something you're gonna wanna do. It's called a tug test. Start the truck. Is it notice the trailer's connected? We're gonna check our gain. Do that by using this. You squeeze this and it shows you your gain. That's how much the trailer brakes are applied. And the gain is at 8.5 out of 10. What I do for this test is I put it right up to 10. That puts all the power for the trailer brakes, max the trailer brake power right out. Now, put her in drive. Don't need to haul mode on, but I'm gonna do it. I have my exhaust brake, fuck it. Now, full all the way. Just let off the brakes and tug the trailer. See? do that as a precautionary measure before you haul the trailer that way you know it's hooked up properly it's all engaging and you know you're not gonna fucking lose your load down the highway unless your pins break now let's see what that looks like from the outside Right, 
Now what you want to do when you do your what you want to do when you do your tug test is you don't want to give it full throttle. You don't want to try and drag the trailer. That's not the point. So I know some people are gonna be like, oh you got the brakes on, but that trailer holds the whole truck, you can't haul fuck all. I can't pull that trailer with the brakes on. That's the point, dummy. You just want to make sure that the brakes are engaging, the brakes work, and you want to make sure that it's all hooked up properly in your in the bed of your truck. It's hooked up properly in the bed of your truck, it won't go nowhere. Make sure that the jaws are firmly connected, you're not going to lose your trailer and drop in the bed of your truck. So that kingpin goes right through the bed of your truck, that it suck. And plus, you'll ruin your bed sides. You'll need a whole new box for your truck, and at that point, you may as well do and swap and put a flatbed on it. As you can see, this bed is beat up, and there are no holes punched in, punched in it. And I have dropped toolboxes in here more than once. Oh, that's the wrong way. So these bad boys, you get the weight. There, there should be no weight on the trailer. It should be all on your truck. Get them all the way up so you don't drag on nothing going down the highway. We got a little more flashing back here. Even that one's flashing. More flashing. Holy shit, that was flashing too. Flashing. Alright guys, if you like that video, give me a big old thumbs up. Share. Subscribe, comment. I'll have a link somewhere to another video and other things. I'll have links in the description to the people that tune my truck and everybody else that's help, that helps me with my truck along the way does work to it. I, I'll have all their links down in the description down below. If you look at my other videos, I got other people tagged in them videos for you know other things that they help me with for that specific video. So uh, go like me on Facebook at Throttle Out 250. Go like me on Instagram at Throttle Out 250. Either one of those places you can find my Snapchat where you can get exclusive access to shit that I do. Um, yeah, that's about it.